Hello friends, in this video we will be making one iodobutane. Alkyl iodides can be prepared from alcohols by the addition of a hot solution of iodine in alcohol to a boiling suspension of red phosphorus in alcohol. The method by which we are doing this experiment is adapted from Vogel's textbook of practical organic chemistry. Chemicals required for this synthesis are 15 grams that is approximately 19 milliliters of N-butanol 2.75 grams of red phosphorus and 25 grams of elemental iodine. Start by setting up the following. A 250 milliliter round bottom flask was placed in a heating mantle stirrer and a pressure equalizing addition funnel was placed on top of it. Some glass wool was placed inside the pressure equalizing funnel and it was pushed down using the back end of a steel spatula. The round bottom flask was charged with 2.75 grams of red phosphorus. You can see that the finely powdered phosphorus got attached onto the funnel and in the beaker in which it was placed. Both were washed down with an butanol. Red phosphorus is flammable and care must be taken while handling it. The addition funnel was charged with 25 grams of elemental iodine in the form of crystals. The heating mantle was turned on and the solution was heated to boil. You can clearly see the vapor front climbing up the sides of the tube of the pressure equalizing addition funnel. It goes all the way up into the funnel. It does not go further up because of the condenser column placed on top of the funnel which has cold water running through it. Instead it goes down into the funnel, condenses to liquid and dissolves the iodine When the iodine salts start to dissolve in the N-butanol, the knob of the funnel was opened and a steady drop of iodine in N-butanol was added to the red phosphorus. This causes an exothermic reaction and heat of the reaction is sufficient to cause the boiling of N-butanol into the funnel through the side arm. Hence, heating mantle was turned off. What's happening here is the formation of N-butyl iodide by the following reaction. This mechanism was kept running until all the iodine gets used up. When the reaction is complete, we have a clear solution and no traces of iodine was found. It was then transferred to a separatory funnel and first washed with water and then with 10% sodium carbonate solution and then twice with distilled water and separated the crude product. The crude product was then dried using anhydrous sodium sulfate and finally we did a simple distillation. Initially some water boiled over at around 100 degrees C and when the temperature rose to around 115 to 120 degrees C and butanol which has left behind unreacted boiled over. When the temperature rose to around 129 degrees C a new receiving flask was attached at the receiving end and N-butyl iodide was collected in a temperature range of 129 degree to 131 degree C. The final yield was 24.4 grams which is roughly 15 milliliters of the product. The product is relatively pure for most of the reactions and that's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed my video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing further videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. Once again thank you for watching, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my future videos. Thank you.